Battery drain on the Google Pixel 6 running Android 13. I've seen a lot of videos of people saying that we have to let the adaptive battery do its thing, but we're almost two weeks on now, and I'm still getting comments on that battery drain video of people really suffering to the tune of 40% less battery on their Pixel 6, and it's really getting a little ridiculous. So I don't think adaptive battery is really the entire reason why people are experiencing poor battery life on their Pixel 6. And if it is, well, then there's obviously an issue there or something that needs to be optimized. But I was going through, I was one of the ones that was still suffering. I think you should try this. We'll go over it in a minute. But as you know, from the different issues that we've had with the Pixel 6 over the past year, that it's never a one-size-fits-all solution. There's always different sets of phones having different sets of issues. So while some people were having battery drain on their Pixel 6s running Android 13, other people were reporting no problems whatsoever. But the people who were having problems were really having problems and seeing a big chunk taken out of their battery life each day. So I was going back. I was still experiencing last night bad drain, bad idle drain, mobile network drain, all the issues that we've talked about. And I saw one comment that said you had to try this. I don't know if it was on Reddit. I don't know if there's a million videos on this already, but if there are, I apologize. This is new to me. I tried it and it worked. You have to go in. You're going to go into settings. Then you're going to see apps at the top. You're going to go into apps. Then you're going to go into all apps where it says see all apps. You go ahead, you go into all apps. And you're going to go down to device health services. You're going to see storage and cache. Oh, if we hit it properly, storage and cache. Now, at first, last night, mine didn't say clear cache. It did not give me the option to clear cache. That's what you're going to want to do. But if yours is blacked out there, you don't have the option, go ahead and manage space. And then you're going to see clear all data for device health services, including battery statistics and adaptive brightness data. Whatever that is, I hit that clear data. It cleared out the cache for device health services, and it completely turned my battery life back around to almost better than it was on the Android 13 beta. And to test it today, I took this off of Wi-Fi. I put it on 5G, full blast, let it just rip through you to figure maximum idle, maximum mobile network drain, all of that. And I've experienced none of it, really. I took this off the charger, started blasting through Twitter, TikTok, web searching, everything I could think of, you know, a lot of TikTok videos, everything I could think of that could drain a battery, and it just laughed at me. It actually held up quite well. I left it on for three hours, just letting it, th three, three and a half hours, just letting it idle, seeing how much battery it would drain away, and it was roughly 4%. So that's, while it's not the best that I've ever seen, it's certainly not the worst. There's a lot of devices that do a heck of a lot worse than that, so I'm not going to eat their lunch from that, especially coming from the battery drain that we were seeing. You know, a lot of people were seeing in that, just last night, me alone, I think it was three hours, maybe four hours, I was seeing 15, 16% battery drain. It was getting bad. So for this, for that little silly solution to have completely turned around the battery life on my Pixel 6 is a little goofy, but if you're still suffering and the adaptive battery has not, you know, some people the adaptive battery worked. They commented, oh, you know, it's gotten better and I'm having a better experience than I had on Android 12 with battery life and certainly even a little bit better than I had on the Android 13 beta. Well, if you're one of the ones like me that's not having that and having 40% battery drain more than usual than you are, then go ahead and try that and let me know in the comments section if it makes an immediate difference. Because for me, it literally was happening last night. Made the change. It was an immediate difference in battery life, and which is great. Well, okay, first off, it's a little disturbing that something like that is the fix for something, especially if they haven't released a patch for it already. But that being said, if the battery life stuff is out of the way on the Google Pixel 6 for Android 13, the experience is exactly what I remember through the beta. This was my favorite phone of the summer for a reason. This is a fantastic, silky smooth experience that you're getting on Android 13, and you're going to love it. The thing that frustrated me, what frustrated me more, I think, is the fact that I loved it so much, is that you can't have an adaptive battery situation, or even if it worked perfect, even if that's exactly to design, how could you have a system where you're going to ask people to take 40% less battery life for up to a week? 
If that's the system, let me tell you something. Google, you need a new system if that's the system for this. But go ahead and try that issue. Remember, you're going to go into settings. You're going to go into apps. You're going to go into all apps. And you're going to go down to device health services. Get into that storage and cache and clear that out. Whatever data is stored in there, whether it was left over from Android 12, whether it was left over from the Android 13 beta, it's a way to get that out of the system and get the battery functioning like it should. And if you put this on Wi-Fi, that drain should probably be even less. But I wanted to go ahead, put it on mobile network 5G and absolutely just grind it out and see the max that I could do on a battery on idle. And it performed well. So you put it on Wi-Fi, you're going to get even a better result. I love that there was a fix for that. Thanks for that. Like I said, if you if you're comment on the video, the person who had that solution suggested that to me. I'll go ahead and pin your comment. But thanks for that because I was desperate for anything. And like we've seen with Pixel stuff before, it, it may sound goofy, but I'm willing to try goofy a lot of times. Because these problems can get a little goofy. And if there's a solution that simple for it and it works for you, I really hope that's something that can be helpful because you if you can fix that battery if you're suffering a lot like a lot of people are on the battery life that's something that can get you back to enjoying the pixel 6 experience on android 13 which at the price that they're selling this at now 4.99 with you could get the battery sorted plus the android 13 experience which is absolutely the experience we should have had from launch on this device but it's what i was expecting all along been my favorite device this summer for a reason I had a hard time pulling my SIM out of this device to put it in an S22 Ultra back when I was doing that to kind of test the updates there. I had a hard time pulling it out of this device to put it into my Galaxy Fold 4 when it showed up. That good. We're talking that good of an experience. So I hope that Google's able to square that nonsense away and they're able to put out an update. But if you see the video and this works for you, you can get a head start on enjoying your Pixel 6 again and not having to worry about battery life because man that was bad i don't care adaptive battery or no if that's your adaptive battery process google time for a different process if you've made it this far like comment subscribe all that fun stuff until next time have that steve delicious day